Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Polygon Matic. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. And if you haven't seen the previous update, make sure to watch that before watching this one so that you have more context. It's going to be linked in the top right hand corner of the screen. And uh, we can jump into the TA right now on the four hourly chart. As you can see, zooming in a little bit here, usually I don't take a look at the four hourly chart, but you can see that we are in a channel up pattern here with two little fake outs down below. And typically, uh, for those of you who are familiar with technical analysis, channel up patterns usually are broken to the downside. So uh, potentially what we're looking at here is this local top which is going to be very near this local top that we printed in September. And you're going to start seeing a move, a gradual move to the downside, potentially starting with November 2nd, which is when we are going to get the next uh, interest rates data and the interest rates, uh, potential interest rates uh, hike of another 75 basis points. And at that point, we may even lose this channel support and we can go all the way down here and we can land on the support that you retested here on uh, October 19th, 20 and 22nd. So that's going to be very important for us to do if we start dropping back down and uh, going back to 80 cents, that would be a nice area for you to dollar cost average into Polygon Matic. Uh, as always, we can see, you know, pretty strong wicks to the downside. So there is a strong chance that we may even go a bit lower than that. For example, you could go even lower to the next support level below you at 74 75 cents roughly and then the next support that you have below that is going to be all the way here at 67 cents but this is simply based on the fibonacci retracement what you could always always do is uh take a look at these previous lows so you're going to have some support over here you're going to have some support over here at this low you're going to have some support over here some support over here and you just want to take a look at these previous uh, local lows and that's where you potentially want to set up your buy limit orders just slightly above them, obviously, because you don't want to have the buy limit order exactly at the support level because that lessens your chances of getting filled. And that's not what you want, obviously. Uh, but this is zooming into the four hourly chart. If I take a look at the RSI here, ignore the drawings. They are for the daily and for the weekly. Uh, so the four hourly was in the overbought here, October 22nd, we've made a move to the downside, uh, October 28th, we started the move to the upside. And right now, it looks like we're simply printing a lower high, and, and no bearish divergences here for now, because uh, that is perfectly what we have on the uh, price action is completely uh, drawn to the or uh, reflected on the RSI. So no divergence is there. And that's regarding the four hourly chart. I would simply wait. I wouldn't buy Polygon Matic right now, but that's just me. If you feel like dollar cost averaging right now, more power to you. Uh, but uh, my average buy in price is at 44 cents. So I'm only going to be buying as soon as we drop back down to, I want to say 50 to 60 cents. That's where I would be a dollar cost averaging but yeah 70 to 90 cents that's a bit too expensive for me some other old coins are a lot cheaper at the moment so let's switch over to the daily chart so switching to the daily now you can actually see the fibonacci retracement that i have set up so this is the high that we printed in august and this is the low that we printed in june and off of that we have the swing high here at 50 or one dollar and five and a half cents and we're slowly trying to retrace to that area. But I do think even if we do run into that resistance, we're not going to be able to break it. And we're potentially dropping all the way back down here, coming to 50 cents. And with this nice double top pattern, we may have a target to the downside. And to be honest with you, that target could be quite significant because if you lose this uh, neckline here, that would be very negative in my opinion because uh, you're going to have a target to the downside, like I said. and Let's just see what that target potentially could be. So from the top there to the bottom of the neckline, we take a trend line. And this is assuming that we obviously retrace back up here to the swing high. And from there, you're going to have a target down to 50 cents, obviously. And if you start losing 50 cents, uh, then you're going to have your next local low at uh, around about 43 cents. 
and 45 cents and after that you have a low here at 37 cents and at 32 cents so i would say anything below 50 cents is very cheap for polygon matic considering the amount of partnerships they have at the moment and i really think that they're gonna blast off in in the next bull market and yeah so based off of this fibonacci retracement i'm looking for a move down to the golden ratio here re realistically at 50 cents 50 and a half cents because that has the most support we haven't retested that since we broke out from there in july and with the fomc meeting happening november 2nd and 1st i do think that there is a pretty significant chance that we are going to see a pullback across the markets i don't know if it's going to be as deep as you know polygon going back to 50 cents could be but i can never guarantee anything so if you want you could set up your buy limit orders in advance uh just you know across this dip uh or not across but throughout this dip so that if you see one wick all of the orders are going to be filled up for you and then you're good to go uh but you know that's a that's a big if right but if i see polygon matic uh, at 50 cents like i said i'm going to be dollar cost averaging and jumping into the daily rsi as you can see what happened here is we ran into the resistance that i had on the chart and i've had it for a very 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 long time here and as you can see the resistance um is a valid level still so the last retest we had was back in august before that the one we had was in december of last year in december of last year once again two touches and october last year so lots of touches within the next within the last year for this level and once again we saw a very nice rejection from there so if you wanted to take profits at that area if i take a look and correspond this high on the rsi with the price action okay you would see that that would be actually some somewhere at 95 cents so if you're waiting from 95 cents a pullback to let's say 67 cents that's a 31 percent pullback and i think that is probably something that we're going to see and this is how you could have used the RSI to sell at an important resistance level that we didn't break through once again. The last time we broke through was in July of this year. We had that little fake out, but it didn't happen this time. It could have happened, obviously, it could have. But that's why you're selling because uh, you're taking the chance that it doesn't. That's why you never sell all of your coins at once and you just sell a portion. And if it drops back, you buy more, uh, which means you basically increase your position by putting in the same amount of money at a cheaper price which buys you more coins uh, so yeah this is how you could have used the rsi personally i did not trade that because i'm staking all of my coins well not all of them i do have a little bag left but that's not even worth to swing trade so i'm not bothered with that at the moment uh, and for the uh, support levels on the rsi i would be targeting the yellow trend line so you have one touch here in may second touch in june we had a little fake out in september and potentially we're looking for that uh retest sometime in october or oh, october is almost over uh, but potentially another retest in november so i would keep an eye on that and also this uh, and also this diagonal resistance trend line is something that i would keep an eye on because we have broken through it here in October, but we haven't had the back test of support and that potentially can come. Let me just change the color for that trend line so it's a bit easier for you to see it. Yeah, so that's the one I'm talking about, the pink one. So we may retest the pink trend line and the yellow trend line. So if you see the RSI just chilling on those levels, I would dollar cost average at that moment. Now let's switch over to the weekly Binance chart. Switching over to the weekly chart, you can see that Polygon Matic is breaking out of a multi-month resistance trend line that we created in January of 2022, or I should say December, right? And then you had another retest here in August, and from there you're breaking out in, in October, which is very bullish. So right now what could happen is we may see a rejection off of the 55 EMA on the weekly chart, and from there you may come back all the way down to retest the teal trend line here of the falling wedge. Now obviously the falling wedge has a target of where the wedge was created, and that is at $2.85, so that's what I would be targeting. And uh, in case we start dropping back into the pattern, I would target the, the 
previous local low here that we created and that would be uh, all the way down here let me get the price tag for you that would be 74 cents so that's something that i would target if you start losing that uh, it's going to be quite negative to be honest with you we may draw back down into the pattern and uh, if that happens then i would be targeting 39 cents because if you're if you're losing a key support level then you're probably going to come back up retest the resistance and continue your way down and retrace all the way down to where you came from uh, where you started your move to the upside from in June and you did a nice 3x in a month or I should say a couple of months actually. So keep an eye on that. Uh, like I said, anywhere from 50 to 60 cents, that's where I would be buying. So I'm pretty confident that we're probably going to draw back. So if you're still looking for a swing trade, you could take some profits off the 55 EMA on the weekly chart if you're feeling lucky and then you might buy back off of the yellow support trend line here so the 55 EMA is currently sitting at roughly one dollar and you could buy back in at 74 dollars but you know I'm not a financial advisor if you're looking for a swing trade that could potentially be a very good one uh, if we get any bullish news for Polygon Matic, there is a good chance that we might start pumping here and potentially continue towards the yellow trend line but that, I find that really really unlikely so uh, yeah, the markets are very bearish at the moment. The fact that we're having a little relief rally here is uh, is not going to, you know, turn us into the perma bulls uh, all of a sudden. But I do want to add that Polygon Maddox chart is looking very good. Uh, we did see this nice pump here. We created a higher low and now we're breaking to the upside above a resistance level, a multi-month resistance level. So it's looking good for Polygon Matic. It's just that uh, you, you have to be careful with your sells and buys because you don't want to sell too early and you don't want to, you know, buy too early. Uh, so yeah, just dollar cost average when you can, dollar cost average on red days and you should be good to go with for the next two years. Uh, that's what I'm planning to do. So thank you all for watching. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Goodbye and